What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 73 of my Europa Universalis 4 campaign as Germany. On the last episode we started a war with the Commonwealth and we're currently hitting a 130,000 versus 5,000 battle. Which doesn't seem very fair for them. So, we're currently sieging down the Commonwealth. I actually declared war on Lithuania first because I wanted to, basically Lithuania, if I declare war on the Commonwealth, I think it was Spain was going to get pulled in, was it? There was someone who, if I declare war on, Lithu on the Commonwealth directly, who was going to drag in like one of my, no, it was going to drag in the Ottomans because the Ottomans guaranteed Poland, or the Commonwealth. Anyway, let's get underway. We could take an admin idea, I think it's better to just take this. Gets us production efficiency, actually when's the next idea group? 26. It probably is a good idea to take this. Um, when do we get our next one of these? 27. Um, we are 10% behind so we probably should take it. Over here, Lorrainian separatists, that's fine. How long until I can piece out the Commonwealth? Ideally, I want all of their provinces. Basically. That would be 100 piece off there. Taking those. So that's what I'll go for. Which means that we're going to have to send this army to go siege down A. Where's this army going? going to there, I think. Right, we're going to send this army to go... Wow, that's a big army. Okay, we're going to send this army to back these up. Or we'll just keep it here. <laughs> Alright, we'll have 40k here. This army is going to Vilnius. We'll send this army to Vilnius as well once it's needed. Right, now we'll send both into Vilnius, kill that stack. Easy de decimation there. Um, you have eight cannons, you also have eight cannons. This army has 20 cannons, so this is more of a sieging army. These ones can move up to the front. No friends, you're not getting military access, and Lithuania, I don't want you to peace out. Hopefully Scandinavia will take care of the Commonwealth army. We'll do an all conversion, we'll do time based. For some reason this one has less missionary strength. Because there's a religious centre. Ah, in Rome, yes. Yes, Rome is going to be hard to convert. Occupies that, which wasn't a castle. That's going there. It's all fine. Um, occupied Mazia. You can come down to Zerkali. I would guess that was pronounced. And we lose a stability, lovely. Exactly what I wanted. Right, none of these finished. This one did. Let's move you down to Ingel. We'll start filling things in. We do need Scandinavia to peace out, eventually. It may be worth sending someone up to Pskov to siege them down. So we can piece them out. Are they really attacking? Into 20k with 4k. No, they're not at war with the scarf. Okay. I didn't know that. That one's fallen. You go kill that army. Looks like Scandinavia is sieging that down. 
I suppose I can piece out Lithuania for the provinces I want from Poland. We will be able to take that soon. Okay, so you sieged all that. You. Is that being sieged? It is. Send you over to Zagorifi, however that's pronounced. Ingle has been occupied, which is down here. How many men are here? 34,000. Send you up to there, you up to there. And everything else should be fine, I think. Grab this army, we'll send it to Pskov. Hopefully we can siege down one province in Pskov and then we'll piece them out. We may be able to since we crushed their army. No, they're not quite willing yet. Do we have any provinces that need cord? Not ones causing overextension which are the most important kind. These both are 28%. We occupied another three provinces. Um, we'll send you to that province and you two can come defend. Bells has fallen. Good. We'll siege that down. And so is that one. So if we go to Lithuania now, we can take those from Poland. I'm doing this based on areas. So yeah, all of Mazovia, as much of that as we can take. I'd love to take these two, but we can't because we wouldn't be able to core it. It'll give us 68% overextension, which is fine. So we'll take those. We'll also take war reparations if possible. It isn't possible. And we will just peace out with that. So that's all good. Let's do overextension cost. These cost the most. So we'll do those. Get all of our men back. Um, and our next target is going to be the Ottomans, I think. Or Bohemia. Bohemia would be an easy target to wipe off the map. We'll send these two around. And go to Ostmark. This army can come to there. We'll start coring that stuff. We'll let Scandinavia deal with Commonwealth now. They're not going to take this land. They actually just be stabbed. Actually, no, they didn't. They lost the siege somehow. Now it looks like they're losing the war. Which I wasn't really expecting. Um, we have a truce with Bohemia for another six years. So I guess they won't be our next target. Apologies guys if you can hear like a car going past outside, uh, nothing I can do about that. Okay. So a look, Spain, they had expanded into France. We could go after Switzerland. They have an alliance with Bohemia, which would get Bohemia in on the war. Let's do that then. We'll do imperialism. Declare war. Point a leader for this army over here. Send it to Switzerland. Um, no Bohemia. So now we'll march these two armies into Bohemia. And they were easily defeated. 
as a right of mine feature stream. It's gonna be. I don't know if you can see the pop ups, but it just there was a steam pop up just appeared. So we're gonna siege down this because there's a hundred percent chance, and then we'll send the army to their capital in Zurich. So we'll occupied Wad. And we'll go down to siege down to zero. Because Switzerland are basically the only person inside of my borders at this point. We used to have a few, like all this centre part used to be all their nations. Right, so Bohemia is completely sieged at this point. We want to piece them out for their entire country. Which we can't do because we don't have all of Switzerland siege. That would be 22.8% overextension, which I believe would be fine. Yes, it would. So that's what we'll do. As soon as possible, we will see. We will take both of Bohemia's provinces. Let's actually have a look at coalition map mode. We have 20 with the Commonwealth, 0 with the Ottomans. Luca has 55. So Luca is the only person who could actually coalition me at this point. And a coalition of one isn't really, really a coalition. And we have a regency. This is our second regency in a short amount of time. A 413 is a decent regency. And since we have a 534, I can't really complain. Convert um, Umbrian. I'm guessing that's like one of these. Group Britain annex someone. Iceland will give war reparations to Scandinavia. I think they were allied to the Commonwealth, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm wondering. No, there's no cause over here that I can pop out. And that's something I would like to see. Foreign cause. So if you could see a map of like provinces that have cause on it that aren't the current owner. Maybe even if you had it provinces that have a core on it that of a country that doesn't exist on the map. So Bohemia, are you willing to be pieced out? Yes you are for your entire country. You have no money either, so there's no point. We'll take your country. I don't know how to change the capital, they don't have any provinces left. So by overextension, there's this one. So we're gonna do this one first. So we'll save up 235. And Salzburg, convert you. Oh yeah, so of these new provinces, we may as well get rid of this fort. It is a fully upgraded fort, which we had very few of, and we'll get rid of this one as well. No longer borders anyone. If we have a look at the regions map mode, which is bound to... Yes, yeah, bound to Y for me. So we have all of these four regions now. We need to finish Silesia and Malopolska, Bohemia, Slovakia, Alfold, Transdanubia, Croatia, Bosnia, and then I'll be happy with how... Oh, and Serbia as well, wondered. And then I would be happy with my country's eastern border. The southern border, we need to clear this off. Also probably going to take Genoa's islands here, and then we also want to cut off Spain, so take Languedoc and the Pyrenees, the Pyrenees, and everything north of that. We also probably are going to conquer all of Great Britain, and we have a perfect area border with Scandinavia. Good. But... Warring isn't in our near future at the moment because we have a Regency. Just for a short amount of time. I know Regencies are going to become basically a thing of the past in the near future. In Rights of Man. Because you'll have a Queen 
For every king you have, you'll have a queen as well, and she can serve as queen regent. Which, I don't know if that's gonna, it's gonna be like a stability hit maybe if you declare war during a queen regency. Or if it's just not going to be any penalty at all. But things are changing. Oh, you may also notice I changed up some of the country colours. Some of the most obvious are the Golden Horde. They're actually gold rather than like pale yellowy white. Russia is slightly darker. Um, Commonwealth more of a pink. The Ottomans are brighter. They're like a lighter colour. Um, Spain, France and, Ingl and Great Britain are all slightly different but not much. Portugal got changed a bit. It's more obvious with some of and like Denmark's um, much more of a lighter colour just to distinguish them a bit more from England at the start of the game okay so yeah we're basically just gonna map stare until our regency ends we have 100% war score but we need to get enough to core things first We can lose 300 ducats, that's fine. We could build some buildings, that might be a good thing to look at. Um, or we could build fleets, that's a good idea. Actually, let's check all our fleets are up to date. Yes, and... No, so we will send you home. We've just been sat in the middle of the sea forever. Alright, upgrade you. 1000 ducats, that's fine. You also have a weird composition, 21 and 21. Um, that's fine. What are you doing at the moment? You're protecting trade in the North Sea. Let's protect trade. We don't have control over the North Sea and I don't think we ever will. We could try and get Novgorod, or, or we control the Baltic. Um, that would increase our trade value by a lot, doing it in our home node. English Channel, we have no trade value. How do we have no trade? We, we have 100% of the power in the English Channel. We have 51% in Lubeck, which isn't that good. Um, we have 42% in the Baltic. What's this in the North Sea? We only have 16%. Um, we will send them to the Baltic, I think. Just try and pry a bit of Scandinavia's p northern power away from them. Scandinavia is incredibly strong in this game. I mean, in my grand campaign... In Crusader Kings 2, Svithjord, which is basically the Norse name for Sweden, they're doing incredibly well. As it's, I know the developers are Swedish, but they seem ridiculously strong. Commonwealth Separatists. Ooh, so scary. That looks like it's going down. No, it's not. They just look great to me for some reason. 150 military power because they have a lot of provinces contributing to it. Well, that's mainly due to our high overextension. We lost a general and a conversion finished. But we just gained 50,000 manpower, which puts us 51,000 above our manpower cap. It looks like our manpower cap actually went down. Which I don't understand. What? Why did you not pop up that there was Commonwealth Separatists? Go kill them. Error, I hate not being able to tell that there's Commonwealth Separatists. Or that there's rebels in general. I'm going to have to look at my message sends in between this and the next episode. Because that's just getting so frustrating. We're getting so much separatism that we don't need. Just because I don't realise that there's rebels. Like, I turned off one pop-up. 
because I kept getting annoyed that like three would pop up. Um, sure, for 10 years you can have 4% unrest, that's fine. Not likely to fire a rebellion, and that's where we're going to have to end this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. From me, Corvus, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.